This is a level with over 1 million objects, and here is me and my friend trying to make a level with one. How can I make an impossible level with one object? <laughs> You're trying to make an impossible level? You can literally just place a soul. <laughs> Easy. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to make this look good. Uh, my line will copy my object color. I'll literally, I'm just going to use this spike. With my friend Brad's level already complete, I knew I could outdo him. Is there a good looking block that has a hitbox? Nope. Okay, let's grab this. I want this top color to be uh, green. All right, I think I have my level. <laughs> That's better than mine. What is your- <laughs> You yeah. misplaced the spike! But you see, we're doing more than just making a one object level. We will be making levels from one all the way to one million objects, and we will be getting each of our levels judged by our friend Ender, starting with our one object levels. What did you guys make this thing? Mine's actually playable. You can die in mine. Mine's playable too, it's just auto. Okay, I'm gonna have to say the first one. Yo! Now that gives me one point, putting me in the lead for our next level. This time, we'll be given a little bit more budget to work with. And by that, I mean only 10 objects. Dang, this is hard. 10 objects isn't a lot. If I get this and scale it up real big, we can make a- that's my ground spikes. Okay, let's get this. Let's also get another object here, like this one, and make this like that. There we go. Okay, I've used five objects already. I'm gonna spend the rest on decorating it. Yeah, I've used five objects while decorating it. This is a pretty weird color combination, but I kind of like it. All right, my 10 object level is complete. Yeah, I've still got one more object, mate. <laughs> You're really using your objects <laughs> wisely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, eventually we'll have way too many objects to work with. That's 10 objects? Yeah. My guy, I count like seven. Despite the fact that a portion of Brad's objects is barely even visible, there seemed to be some shenanigans going on between Ender and Brad. Yeah, but I know Brad good. is oh. gonna hate me, so I'm gonna say Brad. Good. That makes us tied. Great. For our next level, we would have a grand total of 100 objects to work with, but there is a twist. This one has a little bit of added challenge because the level we make has to be 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I just so happen to have experience with low object levels. A while back, I made this level in under 60 seconds. I should have no issue making another one. Yeah, I got no clue what I'm doing. I should make like a rotating background. Oh, and I can have the things rotating around to be like saws and you have to avoid the saws. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm a genius. I'm still trying to find the one object that I'm trying to like put in the background, but I can't find it. That thing, yeah, they go that like goes woof and then disappears. Um, I have a zero clue what you're talking about. Uh, it's a circle, right? And and it starts off from small and then it goes. Oh like, yeah, that's an actual it. object. I think it's in the orb category. It is. What's it doing in there? How's it going? <laughs> Over time, we each finished our levels and we're about to get judged. Okay, so let's just very quickly plop this here. This is like a Sputnik level. Oh, it's a, it's like a spot next level? Okay, that's good, that's good. Wow! <laughs> okay. <laughs> the gameplay is very entertaining. Great. It's great, yeah. Okay, I mean, I like brass better, because, like, better gameplay, and I actually think it was the colors were better. That puts Brad in the lead. Things just went from bad to worse. Fortunately, we're starting to get more objects to work with. But unfortunately, there was another twist. We have to create a 10 second part in only a thousand objects. We're also only going to have 15 minutes. Okay, I'm finally gonna decide to use the editor layers now, because we're, we're getting into deep stuff now. Yeah, I'm, I'm making the block design first. Well, I already made my block design, I'm just copy pasting it around. Uh, what? This isn't fair. You've got some cheats. I know you have. <laughs> you see, in most of my videos, there is usually some plot twist, especially one that gives me the advantage. Because of this, Brad was very suspicious of me. Okay, I've made it to 10 seconds. Okay, now I just gotta add ground spikes. Cheater. <laughs> what did I do? You're cheating! That's what you did. While I am not cheating, if Brad convinces Ender that I am, he would be guaranteed to win this round. Worst part is, I am an experienced creator, so if I try too hard, Brad might think I'm actually cheating. I'm fast. Yeah, we know from all your other videos that you're fast. However, with the time running out, a new threat emerged. You know what, actually? This doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. How many, how many, how much time do we have left? Uh, eight minutes. Okay, this is bad. 
I'm just gonna shove objects into things. I'm gonna make this super unoptimized just so I can get to a thousand. Okay, let's just spam a whole bunch of arrows in places where they really don't need to go just because I need to use objects. I gotta get a thousand objects somehow. How do I do this? If I can get to 500, I can totally paste it on top of itself. It'll look super weird, but I'll find a way. Let's select all, copy paste on top of each other. By copy pasting it on top of itself, I got it to be over a thousand objects. Despite the fact that I had to ruin my level, I at least got it to a thousand objects. Now, it was time to get judged. Wow, <laughs> this is definitely not copy pasted. <laughs> Shut up. How does this have a thousand objects? So which one, which one do you think's better? Yeah, I'll be honest, I, I'll be honest, it's, it's moldy so by a little bit. Yo, let's go! That makes us tied again, but fortunately there was an opportunity for me to take the lead. We're now gonna get 15 more minutes to improve the part we just made and to make it 10,000 objects. Timer starts now. I started by reverting my level to whatever it was before I copy pasted it on top of itself. It would cost me half my objects, but if I wanted any shot at winning, I had to make this look good. Maybe I can add like some clouds. <gasps> Glittery star thingies. These use so many objects. These use 16 objects each. I'm gonna spam the heck out of them. After spamming these shiny stars around, I added more glow, changed the colors, and added these flowers. However, despite all that, my level was only at 1700 out of 10,000 objects. Fortunately, I had a plan. Start by adding some very, very good glow. Very, very well optimized gradient. Okay, let's just copy paste this gradient a few times. Hey, I'm, at, I'm there. You got to 10k. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. I have a gradient that uses 9,000 objects. Excuse me? Oh, Moldy, Why is this 10,000 objects now? Moldy, do you want to tell him your, your big secret? Oh yeah, Moldy, um, it's, it's, the, it's the black gradient, it uses 9,000 objects. Why? How many objects are up there? Is it's it like just 9,000? 9,000? Yeah. You just did what I did, Brad! Okay. <laughs> it's just 9,000! <laughs> Brad, you didn't do anything! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Moldy. <laughs> I think it's. I think Moldy is a tiny bit better. With me taking the lead again, it was time for 100,000 objects. That's 100,000 times more objects than we started with. But before we get to that, I have to share something. I've made a goal where I will place one object in this empty level for every subscriber I gain this year. If you are enjoying this video, consider subscribing and claim your very own block for this brand new level. You don't have to if you don't want to, I just thought I'd ask. Okay, we gotta use a whole bunch of glow, so let's put glow on every single one of these outline blocks. Okay, that is 125 objects, that is not enough. We gotta go more. Go big or go home. In all honesty, it is incredibly difficult to explain what I was doing. I just kept adding and adding things. Things. Glow gradients were particularly useful because they used a lot of objects, but I just spammed anything and everything I could. Unlike most levels where you stop decorating after a point, this was an experiment into what would happen if you just didn't stop, but just kept adding more and more. Anyway, I eventually got this level to 7,000 objects. To get the remaining 93,000, I would have to copy paste this part I made. But that was easier said than done. 35,000 objects. This ain't good. It's already lagging. Oh no. Oh no. It's delayed. Oh my goodness. 57,000. 86,000! Just a little bit more! 100,000! Now I gotta try and save the level. This is where my game crashes. Did your game crash? It's about to. <laughs> you actually made it. Yep, yeah, it crashed. A hundred thousand objects so densely packed together is just too much for my computer to handle. If I couldn't find a way to get this to a hundred thousand objects and save the level, I would have no chance at winning. I don't think my computer can save a level with a hundred thousand objects. You've got to do it bit by bit, that's why. Thirty thousand objects. Can I get to thirty thousand? Okay, I got it saved. Select all, let's double it. I got it to fifty-seven thousand. Okay, it's at 86,000. Let's save it, see if it saves. This is it. If I could do this, I'll have gotten it to 100,000. Nope, it crashed. I, I did it, I think. 100,000 objects, yo! 
That was so difficult! After that, Brad finished his level and we got Ender to judge us. What is this? <laughs> 100,000 objects. This is like glowy. <laughs> I was How does this have 100,000 objects though? It's it's three minutes long. <laughs> yes, it's three minutes long because Moldy made me rush. Yeah, so while Brad's level may not look like it uses 100,000 objects, since it is just so long, it ended up just barely reaching 100,000. While I thought that was unfair, Ender had a different opinion. I actually like Brad's better. Really? What? Yeah, somehow Brad prevailed, leading to yet another tie. Now, the victor of this entire video will be determined by our final 1 million object levels. However, unlike previous rounds, instead of making our own 1 million object level from scratch, which would destroy our computers, we will be doing something a little different. We each have to find a level with 1 million objects, and whoever finds the better level wins. Uh, corn. Yeah, that's a million objects. Well, there's a level called corn with a million objects. Not with a C! <laughs> I chose Corn by Hata 1991, and Brad chose this new level with 1.4 million objects, also by Hata. Now it was time to get judged. One thing I don't like about this level is the just random paragraphs of text all throughout it. Like, am I supposed to be able to read that? Like... It's a book. It's, it's also a book. It's like a geometry dash level and a book at the same time. Corn is just a geometry dash level. This though, it's, it's a, book. a book. <laughs> it, it's it's a geometry dash level. It's a book. It's everything combined. Like, look at this. It leads thee to the fo fouler ways. That's deep. Are you not inspired by these words? The final verdict is that I feel like if you can make a John for that level and a book at the same time, it must be the winner. Brad. I won. <laughs> yes. How did you win? <laughs> <laughs>